Alright, so let's see what this is about. So, Star Wars Battlefront 2 is getting the new game mode, which up until recently has been only referred to as large scale game mode or Titan mode. But now we know it is being called Capital Supremacy. And it says, Master the dynamic combat on the ground and throughout capital ships in a Clone, War, Clone Wars only era battle experience. So, it's currently only available for the Clone Wars. Uh, I would hope it would come to Galactic Civil War at the very least, but I guess we'll have to wait and see on that one. So it says, starting March 26, the forces of the Galactic Republic and the Separatists clash in capital supremacy, an immersive Clone Wars era, authentic experience in Star Wars Battlefront 2, where non-linear ground battles fuse with the thrill of invading capital ships and taking them down. Okay, so we're apparently getting a new map called Pipeline Junction West on Geonosis. New maps are always good. The Separatist Dreadnought and Republic Attack Cruiser Interiors are, I guess, playable locations now. Um, it says, serving as setting to dynamic and tactical warfare of capital supremacy. Two additional reinforcement units, which we have already know are the Infiltrator class in the form of the Republic Arc Trooper and the Separatist BX Commando Droid, or Assassin Droids as they are also known. We have, um, I am glad to see new reinforcement units coming because, to be honest, it was getting old just being... You know, the Assault class, or the Heavy class, or the Officer or Specialist, and what are, whatever other Enforcers and stuff. Because Heroes are, honestly, Heroes aren't, aren't the easiest thing to get. But the Reinforcements and the Standard classes, so it's nice to have a new Reinforcement class. So let's see how uh, Capital Supremacy works. So the Ground Phase is... Capital ships overlook the scenery. Players deploy into the thick of the Clone Wars. They enter an open-ended war zone. Accompanied by blaster fire, calculating droids, and morale-boosting rallying cries. Okay. Two teams of 20, aided by 12 additional non-human AI-controlled troopers. Which leads me to believe that, at the very least, the ground phase will be an offline playable game mode in arcade, potentially. It might not happen, but it sounds like there's a chance this could happen. If, it, if they have AI-controlled troopers that, I guess, will be able to play some of the objective, maybe the entire thing, I'm not really sure. Uh, you fight to control a majority of five command posts on the ground. Intense open-ended conflict. Utilize a way of tactics. Trooper classes, land vehicles. Good, you can use vehicles. Reinforcement units, hero characters, of course. Attack and defend different areas. And it says, hold on, did we just announce the presence of AI-controlled troopers in Capital Supremacy? So, for the first time, in any PvP mode, AI ground troops will, will battle alongside and against you. The contest, contest the command post, and be additional targets for players, players to shoot at. So they will be able to play the objective, basically. They can go out for the command post. That also leads me to believe that the ground phase will be a playable offline game mode at some point. But I can't prove that right now, but I believe there is a chance that will happen. 
So capturing, controlling most of the campos, command posts on the ground phase, your team gains reinforcements. Reinforcements are represented by tickets on your team's progress bar. Once you have enough, you win the ground phase, become attackers, and you'll have a shot at invading the enemy capital ship. Okay. So you struggle for the area to control. Now it turns into a race between incoming transport shuttles, two incoming shuttles. For each attacker managing the gauntlet to embark on it. Any of the shuttles, additional tickets are given. The total amount of tickets facing how many reinforcements the attackers have. In the upcoming invasion phase, defenders must do everything they can to stop the other side, okay, so from invading their ship. Transport shuttle boarding timer runs out. Cinematic plays. You land in the enemy ship, enemy capital ship. Invade the cruiser, dreadnought, invasion phase. Your mission is to destroy or crush the invaders. Capital ship from, from the, the destroy the capital ship from inside. Okay, so basically like Starfighter um, assault in the old game, where you would fly from one ship to the other, go inside it, go inside the interior of the enemy capital ship. And basically wreck everything from the inside, and that's how you would win. But it doesn't look like there'll be starfighters involved in this battle. It just looks like it just looks like you will fight in the interior of the ship. Which, when I played Starfighter Assault in the old Star Wars Battlefront games, I did typically destroy uh, capital ships from the inside. But I remember in those games, since you did have the Starfighters, it could be done from the outside of the ship as well. Doesn't look like that's a thing here. It doesn't look like it works that way here, but... So the AI troops will stay grounded, leaving the close quarters invasion phase to be fought between players exclusively. I guess that makes sense. The layout of two ships are modeled to represent the two Clone Wars era factions. A separate dreadnought, you'll see MTTs, which are basically artillery vehicles, transport vehicles, whatever you want to call them, picked it with the separatist gray and blue color scheme. So instead of the standard uh, brown that they used on Naboo, I guess. Fight through the droid deployment bay, attack and defend the ship's weak points, cooling chambers, uh, the Republic attack cruiser features its own unique areas, cargo bay, reactor core chambers. Independent of the faction being invaded, ways to go about the objectives are similar. An attacker, you fight your way to the hangar, breach the first line of defense, override security, grant access to hallways, destroy the two chambers, or hallways leading to the two chambers. Attackers manage to arm the charges on both and hold the line till the timer expires. They can celebrate the victory of the enemy ship plunges towards the ground. But, okay, here's the, here's, literally it says here's the twist. If defenders manage to eliminate enough attackers and deplete their reinforcement tickets, okay, yeah, the battle goes back to the ground phase. So, it's basically tug of war. Capital Supremacy, Tactical and Dynamic Clone Wars Experience. So back on the ground, you start over, and you fight over the command post again, and you basically go back and forth until somebody wins. So yeah, I really think that ground phase could become an offline game mode at some point. We'll have to wait and see. So the new map is going to be Genosis Pipeline Junction West. It has, uh, it features sand dunes, cliff formations, toxic waste, droid foundries, a boneyard with the remains of large creatures from across the galaxy. So basically, a yeah, non-linear, it says high agency ground battles, but yeah, basically open-ended gameplay. Kind of like the original game's Conquest, from Star Wars Battlefront to 
2005 or whatever. So, that's interesting. And it looks like it comes out March 26th, so that's good. That's, I think that's what they said earlier, but yeah, March 26th. So I'm seriously hoping that what we get here is Star Wars Battlefront 2 classic conquest with a mix of capital ship destruction. And that's what it looks like. And it seems like there is a chance this could potentially become a online, I mean an offline game mode, at least the ground phase anyway. But we'll have to wait and see. It seems interesting, and I can't wait to play it. It does look fun. Um, even if it doesn't come to offline, it still looks fun. But it's interesting. They're like, like they're adding AI to the online, at least, at least to this mode, and they're obviously testing the AI to be able to play, to be able to play the objective. Which is something before they weren't sure if they could do, but it seems like they might have figured it out, at least for this particular game mode. I'm very curious to see how this turns out. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Alright, well that's all I have to say about this for the time being. This video went on for a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, if you like it, please subscribe, and that's all I got to say.